And then tell us a little bit about Miss Lily Gets Bone, which is going to be going up here, why you want to do it now, and yeah. when you wrote it originally, um, why this space, this director. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Um, I wrote it like 10 years ago. Um, a, a friend sent me an article that was in like the New York Times Magazine about how there's this whole generation of elephants in Africa that had been that had been basically lashing out at other elephants, at rhinoceroses, at uh, tourists, basically a murderous generation of elephants. And the theory was that it was this generation of elephants that grew up without parents because they and they had witnessed their parents being poached. Um, and it just felt so human to me, and it reminded me of, in a weird way, of myself, because I grew up in the Baptist church, and at a certain point, I felt like I didn't have a moral code because one had been assigned to me, and I no longer knew right from wrong. And the two things, I just kind of shoved the two things together in my head and wrote this crazy play that has an elephant as a character, and you know, just all that nonsense. And, um, and I'm really fond of the play because I feel like I wrote it before I um, the critical part of my brain really activated, the more the more academic part of my brain activated, and it's just like this insane visceral play um, that that there's there's you know it's it's just messy and, and I'm, I'm really fond of it, and it, it was done I think in once in New York and once in London, and then nobody's like looked at it or touched it since. Robin Larson, who's directing it, somebody gave it to her years ago, and she's been believing in it and championing it ever since and brought it to this theater that I've been wanting to work with since, since I moved here. So it feels like a beautiful like coming together of, of things. Mm -hmm.